was your favorite game in Squid Game? Well, my favorite game was probably, oh, mm, I really like that cookie game where they melt down sugar and make shapes and you have to cut out the shapes with a little toothpick um, without breaking the shape and then you win, right? Um, or take a bullet to the head. Or take a bullet to the head if you <laughs> choose to stop. And they were serious about that thing. And I, I thought it was the game that I could see myself wanting to play and trying to do my own. Didn't, would not want to do it for a sudden death. Um, but you know, they're all working at it slowly. Um, and then the main character realizes you can lick it from the other side and get it out that way. And now everyone's doing it because they want to die. Because when you break it, it's over, right? Um, they had picked shapes to um, do as their team. They each did a different shape, and some were harder than others. You had what, a star, a circle, no. There's a star, umbrella, umbrella. triangle, and... Yeah. I know the triangle was the easiest one. Right. Oh, yeah, so, there was a circle also. Okay, yeah, I'm going to circle. But, and that eliminated a lot of people um, when they couldn't get that one figured out. That a few of them cheated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but it was, that one was pretty interesting. So that, I like that one. And I, 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 the game for the glass, memorizing the spots, I didn't necessarily like it as a game, but I thought that was one of the better scenes in the series. Yeah, I, I think that's a great segue because that one was my favorite one. Yeah. Mainly because they had a lot of tension because yeah. they didn't know which one to step on. So um, the way that this game starts is, you know, but before they go into the, you know, the actual game, they all have to choose a number between one and 16, I think, because that's how many players are left. Mm -hmm. And um, based on that order, that's what order they're going to go in going on the glass. And this is set up like a hundred feet in the air and they'll fall to their death if they step on the wrong part of the glass or the wrong glass they basically get two sides they're each lined up across from each other and if they pick the wrong glass then they fall to their death um and also at this time um the vips so basically these rich men who are just watching you know for fun they bet on them um, they're watching them as they step on each part of the glass. Also with the front men there, you know, just controlling the show. Um, but that was one of my favorite ones because it, it had a lot of tension. Um, right. They had a time limit also. So they yeah. couldn't just stand there forever and try to figure out, okay, which one should I jump on? Um, also, I don't think I could be in that situation um, hmm. because I'm really not good with heights. And <laughs> I, I probably <laughs> passed out. Well, not even just that. I mean, I probably wouldn't even make it to the first one to jump on it. I'll sit there and slip because, I mean, right. that's a glass. Right. Just jumping on glass. Uh, at, at, and it's very far down. Yeah. And the first person dies is like, oh, wow, this is huge. Um, and it was interesting because this is one of the first ones. Of course, it was a tug of war game, right, where you tug and the people that lose die because they fall to the bottom. Um, but this one was the first one where it was like one on one your actions could kill the person in front of you. You could push them if they're going too slow. Um, you could give them the wrong advice. You give them the right advice and they fall through. Um, it's really all on you though, which which added to that tension. That was also the episode where we met the, I don't know what they were referred to as, but- The VIPs? The, the v, yes, the VIPs, that's right, the VIPs. Um, there's like four or five of them there and just to watch and they've been watching the whole time i guess from home and they came in for the bigger games to watch in person and they're being treated you know they have they have human footstools um they're being served hand and foot you get whatever they want um pretty uh they're from different backgrounds ethnicities um, it was interesting concept right show and it and it really showed what i noticed right off was what they were doing was betting on who would make it across and it was no different in analogy i guess to um saying or jihoon betting on those horses when he had lost the money when we first met him um 
it was a poor man's game to bet on those horses and the rich man's game to bet on those people and who would win. So unfortunate, sad, but very interesting way of depicting it. Yeah, really nice parallel. And um, also in this game, the annoying woman, she makes it all the way there. What is her name again? Um, Me Neil or something like that. <laughs> She's still holding that grudge against uh, Deok Su. Mm hmm. And um, she's basically like, I'm going to take you down with me. Right. So <laughs> she grabs him and pulls both of them down to their death while he's screaming, you crazy. Right. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what he said. He might have said crazy B, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she tackles him forward. So we see what glass breaks of where to not go next. Um, so she does the rest of a favor. But she finally gets rid of this character. I was tired of him. I didn't like his his voice was my second least favorite because it also didn't feel like it matched who he was. It almost sounded like he was a wannabe Wolverine actor um, doing a voiceover for this character, and I did not like it. He was trying to be cool. Yeah, I didn't care for his voice either, but um, I was glad to see him go. It's like that's a good way to go out. Dang. <laughs> they were scorned, or she was a woman scorned. It's like I'm gonna take you down. That night meant nothing to you. You, you, I, you know, I thought we were gonna make it to the end. You lied to me. I'm not definitely not gonna help you out by going, taking the next step and showing you where to go or where not to go. So we're going out together. And I thought that was a really good move. Thanks for watching. And if you would like to be featured on our podcast, make sure to click the link in the description.